FCC commercial element one question pool approved 25th June 2009. Sub element A rules and regulations six key topics six exam questions. Key topic one equipment requirements. One what is the requirement of all marine transmitting apparatus used aboard United States vessels? A only equipment that has been certified by the FCC for Part 80 operations is authorized. Two, what transmitting equipment is authorized for use by a station in the maritime service? B, unless specifically ex accepted, only transmitters certified by the Federal Communications Commissions for Part 80 operations. Three, small passenger vessels that sail 20 to 150 nautical miles from the nearest land must have what additional equipment? D, MF-HF SSB transceiver. Four, what equipment is programmed to initiate transmission of distress alerts and calls to individual stations? C, DCS controller. Five, what is the minimum transmitter power level required by the FCC for a medium frequency transmitter aboard a compulsory fitted vessel B at least 60 watt PEP six shipboard transmitters using F3E emissions FM voice may not exceed what carrier power D 25 watts key topic two license requirements one, which commercial radio operator license is required to operate a fixed tuned radar ship radar station with external controls? D, no radio operator authorization is required. Two, what is a marine radio operator permit or higher license required for aircraft communications? C, when operating on frequencies below 30 megahertz, not allocated exclusively to aeronautical mobile services. Three, which of the following persons are ineligible to be issued a commercial radio operator's license? A, individuals who are unable to send and receive correctly by telephone spoken messages in English. Four, what are the radio operator requirements of a passenger vessel of a passenger ship equipped with the GMDSS installation. D, two operators on board must hold a GMDSS radio operator license or a restricted GMDSS radio operator, operator license, depending on the ship's operating areas. Five, what is the minimum radio operator requirement for ships subject to the Great Lakes Radio Agreement? C, Marine Radio Operator Permit. Six, what is a requirement of every commercial operator on duty and in charge of a transmitting system? B, the original license or a photocopy must be posted in, must be posted or in the operator's personal possession and available for inspection. Key topic three, watch keeping. One, Radio watches for compulsory radio telephone stations will include the following. C, VHF channel 16 continuous watch. Two, all compulsory equipped cargo ships, except those operating under GMDSS regulations or in a VTS, while being navigated outside of a harbor or port, shall keep a continuous radio telephone watch on a, 2182 kilohertz and channel 16. Three, what channel must all compulsory non-GM DSS vessels monitor at all times in the open sea? D, channel 16. Four, when a watch is required on 2182 kilohertz, at how many minutes past the hour must a three-minute silent period be observed? A, Zero and 30. Five, which is true concerning a required watch on VHF channel 16? D, all of the above. Six, what are the mandatory D 
DSC watchkeeping bands slash channels. B, 8 megahertz HF DSC, one other HF DSC, two megahertz MF DSC, and VHF channel 70. Key topic four, log keeping. One, who is required to make entries in a required service or maintenance log? B, the operator responsible for the station operation or maintenance. Two, who is responsible for the proper maintenance of station logs? D, the station licensee and the radio operator in charge of the station. Three, where must ship station logs be kept during voyage? A, at the principal radio telephone operating position. Four, what is the proper procedure for making a correction in the station log? C, the original person making the entry must strike out the error, initial the correction, and indicate the date of the correction. Five, how long should station logs be retained when there are entries relating to distress or disaster situations. B, for a period of three years from the last date of entry, unless notified by the FCC. Six, how long should station logs be retained when there are no entries relating to disaster, to distress or disaster situations? C, for a period of two years from the last date of entry. Key topic five, log entries. One, radio station required to keep logs of their transmission must include D, all of the above. Two, which of the following is true? B, EPIRB tests are normally <coughs> logged monthly. Three, where should the GMDSS radio log be kept on board ship? C, at the GMDSS operating position. Four, which of the following statements is true? A, key letters or abbreviations may be used in GMDSS radio logbooks if their meaning is noted in the log. Five, which of the following log keeping statements is true? B, both A and C. Six, which of the following statements concerning log entries is false. A, all safety communications received on VHF must, must be logged. Key topic six, miscellaneous rules and regulations. One, what regulations govern the use and operation of FCC licensed ship stations in international waters? B, part 80 of the FCC rules plus the international radio regulations and agreements to which the United States is a party. Two, when may the operator of a ship radio station allow an unlicensed person to speak over the transmitter? C, when under the supervision of the licensed operator. Three, where do you make an application for inspection of a ship GMDSS radio station. C, to the engineer in charge of the FCC district office nearest the proposed place of inspection. Four, who has ultimate control of service at a ship's radio station? A, the master of the ship. Five, where must the principal radio telephone operating position be installed in a ship's station? C, in the room or an adjoining room from which the ship is normally steered while at sea. Six, by international agreement, which ships must carry radio equipment for the safety of life at sea? D, cargo ships of more than 300 gross tons and vessels carrying more than 12 passengers. Oh, my God.